Hey guys and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Google Medical Questions by Hadi Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we will be exploring the question what you need to know about DVT which is also commonly known as deep vein thrombosis. So deep vein thrombosis also commonly known as a DVT is a serious medical condition that occurs when a blood clot forms in a vein located deep inside of the body. A blood clot is a clump of blood that's turned into a solid state and deep vein thrombosis clots typically form in the thigh, pelvis or lower leg but they can also develop in other areas of the body too. Symptoms of DVT in the leg are throbbing or cramping pain in one of the legs usually in the calf or thigh region swelling of the leg, warm skin around the painful area, red or darkened rashy skin around the painful area, swollen veins that are hard or sore when one touches them in one of the legs. So what are the risk factors in DVT? So deep vein thrombosis is more likely to happen in people over the age of 60, people who are overweight or obese, people who smoke, people who have had a DVT before, people who take the contraceptive pill or any hormone replacement therapy, people who have cancer or heart failure, and people who have varicose veins. So there are also some temporary situations that increase one's risk of developing a DVT, and these include undergoing hospital rest or bed rest, especially if you cannot move around much, like in post-operation circumstances, if you are confined to a wheelchair due to a disability, if you are going on a long journey for more than three hours by plane, car or train, if you are pregnant or you've had a baby in the previous six weeks, or if you are very dehydrated. If one has a blood clot and it breaks free, it could travel to their lungs and this is called a pulmonary embolism and it can be seriously deadly in many cases. So once this occur, one may experience the following symptoms. Sudden coughing, which may bring up blood, which is called hemoptysis. Sharp chest pain or chest tightness. Pain in the shoulder, arm, back or jaw. Rapid breathing or shortness of breath. Pain when one breathes. Severe lightheadedness. And fast heartbeat or palpitations. So different diagnostic techniques for DVTs include duplex ultrasonography, which is an imaging test that uses sound waves to look at the flow of blood in the veins, a D-dimer blood test, which measures a substance in the blood that is released when a clot breaks up, contrast phonography, which is a special type of x-ray where a contrast material, which is a dye, is injected into a large vein in the foot or ankle so that the doctor can see deep into the veins of the leg and hip. And finally, we can also do MRI or CT scans. So magnetic resonance imaging, also commonly known as an MRI scan, is a test that uses radio waves and a magnetic field to provide images of the body. And computer tomography, which is also commonly known as a CT scan, is a test that shows structures inside the body using x-rays. And finally, the treatment of DVTs. So a DVT is most commonly treated with anticoagulants, which are also called blood thinners. And these drugs don't break up existing blood clots, but they can prevent clots from getting bigger and reduce the risk of developing more clots. Examples of anticoagulant drugs include Apixaban, Retrixaban, Dabigatran, Edoxaban, Bondiparinox, Heparin, and Warfarin. And more treatment options for DVT include clot busting drugs, which are also called thrombolytics, and they are prescribed if one has a more serious type of DVT or a pulmonary embolism, or if other medications aren't working. We may also use an inferior vena cava filter, and an IVC filter is a small metal device that looks like an upside down umbrella and prevents clots from breaking loose and lodging in the lungs. And finally, these patients are also advised to use compression stockings, and these are special knee socks that reduce the chances that the blood will pool and clot in the lung. And that brings us to the end of this video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explored the basics of DVT.